rock, wrap, they're connected. Okay, here's Bass Strike. It's an older version of the game. This is the opening. They kind of hook you up with all the old anglers. You will see, uh, that was Roland Martin. You will see uh, Kevin Van Dam just for a split second, right? Where is he? He's wearing white. Right? No, that's uh, Mike Iaconelli. You'll see Kevin Wright. There, I think that was Kevin. There's Mike Iaconelli. There's Mike Iaconelli. You'll see Kevin Wright. Oh, Dean Rojas. Yeah, Shaw Grisby. longer version for some reason. Whenever you want to record stuff. <laughs> Dean Rojas. Dean Rojas. There's a young Tommy Biffle in here. Now that dude that was holding the bass, swear to God, looked like Carl Edwards. The guy looked like Carl Edwards. But it wasn't Carl Edwards. But that guy sure did look like him. And the Kevin Van Dam was in there. He was in, wearing white. All right, so press your start button. Bling. It's going to be a new game. Bling. Now, when you have a new game, you have to put in your name. So we're going to sign in. So let's go, uh, YouTubers. That's what you guys would be called. And of course, we want caps because we're bad ass mofos. You. Tubers. What you do? Okay. Amateur or professional? Let's stick with amateur for now. I get to be one character. The character's name is Michael. That is it. You can do arcade, where you can challenge the other characters, and then unlock those characters, and then become those characters. But throughout this whole game, you will only be one character, and that's this dude, which I think is referencing Mike Iaconelli. I could be wrong, but it sounds like it's Mike Iaconelli to me. So this is your character. You can't challenge anything yet because you haven't uh, established your games. You have tournaments, practice, much needed, time trials, much needed. It's always good to do practice before any of these so that you have an idea of where these fish are going to be located. Again, there's Mike. That's Catherine, that's the next character you can open, but you can challenge any of these characters you want, except this guy. He's the last guy, Ricardo. But uh, like uh, Quintero, you could be him, you could be Edward, you could be Ferran, or you can be Catherine. But you're always Michael in everything. Uh, you have to establish all these characters before you can unlock Ricardo. Now Ricardo, when you become him, all you do is catch massive bass, just huge bass, which I think is kind of a glitch in the game. But uh, if you want to find big bass, you want to go to deep water or very shallow water. Now you can only do these first four, and you have to do them in unison. You cannot go into Austin Lake until these have all been completed. I always go with the latest or the uh, the longest amount of time so you can be on the water, the longest. I always go for not a rainy day but a cloudy day. The reason why you want a cloudy day is that it brings the fish to the top of the water. And by the way that's the best time to fish is when it's cloudy. When you have high blue skies, the fish will go deep, deep, deep. Because they don't have sunglasses like we do. Now, normally everybody gets in the boat and goes. 
right? But we're not. Because if you look right there, that's a freaking monster. Did you see that? That female right there? That is a massive monster bass. Now, I always say, hey, hummingbird, can you come up with a better electronic system like this? <laughs> also, this dock has big fish. Look how big these fish are on the dock. So it cracks me up when you see players get in the boat and leave, which is typical to life as well. Most of your big fish are going to be around the dock. And why is that? Well, because you're approaching and you're bringing in new stuff. Whether it's baits, where you may accidentally drop something. But as you can see, you can get in, in tight into these dock areas and find stuff. It takes a while to figure out how to drive the damn boat. But anyways, the best way to catch these fish are with your jerk bait. You want to get into an area where you can throw easily. That jerk bait. But you want to change the color to sky blue. For some reason the fish react way better. You can drive this bait all the way down to the floor quick. You can turn it. Bite. Bite. Yeah, she's coming after it. Set the hook by hitting X. I'm in a high drag. Get her in as quick as you can. When you drop the rod tip, gives you the slack to bring the fish in. It's a big fish. Actually, I think it's a medium fish. You always want to stay on high drag. See how I can pull that fish in a lot faster? That's a medium. I'll take it. All right. Also, notice the time. I don't know if you guys can see the time. I'm hoping you can. It says 6.45 a.m. Okay, so we just lost 45 minutes catching that one fish, which is a pretty damn good day. <laughs> You're catching fish every 40 minutes. So, you cannot put them in the live well because you're not in a tournament. So you have to release. But, when you're in the state, all time freezes. Everything stops. So like if you need to get a sandwich, you want a soda, phone rings, anything like that. Boom. Just keep it here. Go do what you need to do and then come back. Once you release, your time starts again. And watch the 6.45 has already been 6.46. So it took me a minute to just scroll this. And now two minutes. The 6.48, three minutes. See how, how quick? Ten, it's going to take five minutes before I make my next cast because I want to line it up. I'm going to pull down, get a little dust, and when you turn your, uh, it's a little one, with little ones stay in high drag, get them in the boat as fast as you can. What I do to, I don't spin the thing, I lift it up and down, everything's getting opposite. What's up on the rod is down on the uh, on the reel. What's down on the rod is up on the reel. Yeah, as you can see, that's a little fish, six ounces. So let's get this beast. Where is she? Right there. And she's obviously on a nest. See, this is a male. This is a male. This is the female. So she's the boss. So we have to get rid of these two first. Because these guys kind of protect her. Like, I'm going to go after her right away, and you'll see that these two other guys will come after her before I, I can get to her. Again, sky blue. Don't know why, but it's just, that's just the lure. Really quick, when you turn right to left, which is your body motion, 
Oh, gee, that was a little weird. You can turn the, uh... When it says rod left, you're just trying to create that more slack to get them in. High drag's going to get the fish in a lot faster. One of these two guys are going to come after it, unless we can get it in front of her. One trick that I also do is this guy right here. You can go weightless, because sometimes she'll attack it right away. It makes no sound, but it just kind of drops right in her zone. And I want to turn that, get a better look, give it one, two reels. There she is, there's her tail. And all I'm doing is popping, just a little bounce. It's weightless. But see how it's creating that dust? So I'm lifting the tail up. And I'm just using the left side of the, the remote. Just little taps, little touches. Okay, she doesn't want it. She doesn't hit it right there, she don't want it. Triangle gets you in really quick. Go back to it and add weight. You can either do drop shot, which is pushing down. You can do a split shot, which is pushing down. And then you can do a jig, which is pushing down. You can also do Carolina, pushing down. Or you can do um, a slider weight. That's just a cone weight with the... Uh, with the slider on it, or you can go weightless. This one, she likes the jig. The reason why I went with white is it better to see in the game too. She also goes after the red one. So now I'm creating up more dust and more noise. There she is, we got her. Now she'll break that. See, watch your tension. So I'm, I'm trying to keep the rod tip as down as I can. So he says line's going to break. So now I go to low drag. By the way, low drag is your R1 on your controller. You have an R1 and R2. Your R2 is your free spool. Your R1 is your uh, low drag. Your L1 is your high drag, and your L2 is a free spool. So you can always undo your spools quickly to take the tension off so your line doesn't break, especially when you have a beast, and we'll catch those soon. It's only 8 o'clock, and we're only catching our, what, third, fifth, uh, third, or, or yeah, the, or fourth. This is our fourth fish, which, by the way, is a freaking awesome day when you're going after largemouth bass and you already have four in the boat after two hours of being on the water. Not going to happen. You're lucky to get one fish after two hours. So, we're in low drag. I want to keep tension on also because if I don't keep tension on, she'll throw the hook. As you can see, the green, the yellow, kind of the orange, and then the, the max red. If I have it on high drag, which is less line being pulled out, it will stretch the line and break the line. With low drag, that means there's hardly any pressure holding that drag, and she can pull it anywhere she wants. She's taking more line off the reel, which is going to get further and further away from you, but in the long run, you're going to tire her out and get her back into the boat. But on a time trial, your number one goal is to save time not catch fish. When you save time and you catch fish, you add more time to the time you already have, which gives you more time to go after the monster fish. In a tournament, you want to go with as much weight as you can to win that tournament. So low drag, you want to stay in and get the fish to the boat. Ready? Watch your Right. Drop the okay, here she comes. So I'm going to go to high drag real quick and pull her in. You heard him say.
say line's gonna break, but I got her in before the line broke. Look at that one. When you get the fish, the bass, the striper, the catfish, the crappie, whatever you catch, you always want to do it in practice, not in a tournament, because that'll really F you up unless it's a bass. You want to go with low drag for your big and your huge fish. Sometimes medium because they're pressing that weight to become big. So they're basically the same as a big. They're just characterized as a medium. You can still pull them in to the boat on high drag, but you've got to make sure the fish is close enough to get it in the boat.